Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Undo 2020. I will spend only one term, says PDP aspirant. A governor aspirant of the People Democratic Party in Ondo State, Dr. Bode Ayorinde, said that he would only serve one term in office if elected as governor. This, he explained, was because he would be completing the tenure of Governor Oluwarotimi Akeridolu as part of them hailed from Owo, Ondo North Central District. Mr. Ayonride said he, he ought to work closely with Governor Akeridolu to move the state forward, but all his intentions were replied. Ayonride stated that he was chosen out of all progressive Congress by Akeridolu despite his several plea to him to be Ayonride stated he was chosen out of the all progressive Congress by Akere Dolu despite his several plea to him to be magnificent in victory and tolerant to all of them that contested against him at the party's primary. He said all efforts to make Akere Dolu realize he is the governor of all in Ondo State, rather than Governor in Akite Tem failed. The People Democratic Party governorship hopeful noted that the present reality in the state and the emergency fact have rekindled his genuine concern that achieving a great and prosperous Ondo State is a stake that must be accomplished. According to him, People have equally asked me whether an old woman can succeed Akite as governor. My answer has been empathic no, but that is only fair and just for an old woman to complete his expected term of office. Therefore, my honest intention is to complete the term due to Olu through the mandate of the good people of Ondo State, and I'm prepared to give our leaders in PDP are written on the taking to that effect. On those states, the fifth among the nine oil producing states in the Federation deserves better leadership. Given the opportunity to serve, my mission is to industrialize on those states, create wealth and provide genuine employment for our citizens. That has been in my concern my consistent sermon and my mission in government. So, first, on my priority list is to industrialize. Second, is to industrialize. And third, is to industrialize. I must acknowledge the fact that many of the aspirants from Ondo Central and Ondo South are eminently qualified to govern the state. However, they must be appealed to and allow us finish our two term in Ondo North. It is expected reasonably too that when power shift to the district, they would be allowed to complete their term. Very logical and desirable to so, so think and act. This decision was reached after a very wide consideration coupled with strong conviction that I can make a positive difference. After 44 years of its creation, Ondo State must stop crawling. It must stand and be counted among self-sufficient states in Nigeria. As I present myself for genuine service with the fear of God, I appeal to all indigents and residents of Ondo State to stand by me towards rebuilding our dear sunshine state. And like I have said before, I will only rule for one term. I will not come and ask for a second term. While strong words by an aspirant 
from on those states well um something is quite um fishing here and um i am not quite um understanding it the aspirant said he was chosen by the present current governor in Ondo State. Uh, we know that um, there's been this issue in APC by um, of the present governor um, with the chairman of APC as well as um, the APC uh, APC National. I'm talking about regarding uh, Adam Sushumole. Adam Sushumole and um, the APC National had an agreement according to what we heard that himself uh, Akere Dolu and um, as well as um, Akere Dolu as well as um, Governor Godwin Obaseki of Undo State will have their two terms according to um, what we heard from the APC they will both have their two terms in office and afterwards they will be allowed you know because they've, they've, they've done well you know, um, Akere Dolu and um, Governor Gordon Obaseki are two governors that, um, like we heard, are not, you know, quite um, very much there with the person of um, with the person of uh, Governor the person of the chairman of the party, we're talking about the person of Adams Ushumole, uh, that Adams Ushumole was not very happy, I don't know, has not been happy with Akere Dolu, as well as Governor uh, Godwin Obaseki. And as such, their second term is in jeopardy because it's not in agreement with them. You know, so for Akere Dolu to be cho chosen an APC's aspirant and asking the person, you know, that means there must be, there must have been a discussion telling the person that the person might uh, can have the opportunity to finish up the term is his term in office from their district as both of them happens to be from the same senatorial district um, regarding uh, on those states you know this aspirant is coming out to say you know what i'm not ready to spend more than a term in office because i want to complete what i carry dulu um you know, started and is, uh, is, is pleading and is appealing to other aspirants of the APC in the state, APC aspirants in the states to support him to get it done. You know, that um, now that the um, uh, Undo state governorship has moved from district to district, um, they need to allow him finish his term. I'm a bit skeptical about here and I'm trying to understand it. Does it mean Akiri Dul does not see him, see himself fulfilling and uh, um, ending his second term in office or does it mean it's very sad because it shows that he does not even trust it shows that he does not even trust his own um, pdp uh, um, he does not even trust his own apc um, aspirant and his own apc person saying that since he has gone to choose an APDP aspirant in Ondo State, asking the person to finish his term in office, you know, since they are from the same Centuria district, does it mean that there is something fishing? Or oh, Akere Dolu does not trust APC anymore. And so he's moving the button and he's moving the, everything now to, uh, to PDP, you know. Or does this not concern you? You know, I'm quite concerned about um, what I'm hearing here. It sounds very suspicious to me that um, this is going on. And, um, you know, Akere Dolu, according to the news we heard, the, the guy said he was chosen by the governor. You know, he was chosen by Akere Dolu himself. You know, so it's very, it's very, it's very unsettling. It shows that um, he's not even confident that he might finish his term in office and that um, he might not, you know, and he's asking the people, he said he can even go as far as signing uh, a, a statement that he's not going to do more than one with the PDP, um, with the PDP, with his party, PDP. So Akere Dolu is not even choosing, he's not even picking someone from his state, from his party to complete his tenure. He's picking someone from his own senatorial district, but an, um, a PDP candidate saying that, um, you know, come and complete my tenure, and this is um, what are, what will happen. Um, you will not stay more than one term. It doesn't matter what party you are from. Um, it shows that Nigerian um, Nigerian politics is going somewhere. People are beginning to see the larger picture and the bigger picture, and are beginning to see that um, the, the the strength we have together is unity. The strength we have together is on the base of unity that we can rise. I would like to hear your take on this matter. 
I would like to know what you think about uh, this issue. You know, a, a, a PDP candidate saying he was chosen by Kerry Dulu to complete his tenure in office. And um, in completing the tenure, they will be completing a senatorial district uh, two terms in office. Does it mean that Kerry Dulu has given up on politics or has totally given up regarding is um election and um you know let's hear what your your thoughts are thanks for listening god bless bye